Hello Capricorn and welcome to your future love reading. This is for Capricorn. Capricorn, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Alright Capricorn, this is for you. We're going to see what's going on with your future love. Keep in mind, time is fluid, so you can be dealing with a situation like this right now or in the future. All right. This is for Capricorn. What is going on with Capricorn's future love? What is going on with Capricorn's? Okay. All right. So I feel like... They feel you moving away from them. To me, this is very Six of Swords in the tarot, right? Um, they feel you moving away from them. They want to move on from some um, dramatic times with you for some sort of upheaval that the two of you had. A fight, a breakup, whatever. They want to find peace in the situation. They want to move on with you. Um, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. They want to heal the situation. They, they want to share forgiveness with you um, and learn from these past mistakes. Um, I feel like there's been a lot of um, miscommunication here, a lot of lies going on between you and this person. Um, so let's see what's going on. This person doesn't, they're not ready to let you go, basically. Um, they want your forgiveness. All right, let's see what's going on here. This is for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn. For their future love reading, if this resonates with you, Capricorn, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Capricorn, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Capricorn out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn for their future love read. What's going on with Capricorns? Okay. Yeah. So they're going to take a shot here and try to reach out. Um, they're still very much attracted to you. You could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart. This person is still, they still want to be with you. They want to work things out. That's what their hope is, that things will work out between the two of you. Um, that the two of you will get back together. You'll get back on track here. Huge fear of rejection. Um, you're very cold towards this individual. But they, I mean, they got a fire inside of them, right? King of Wands energy, male or female, absolutely does not matter. This is the type of energy that goes after what they want. And that is you, right? Very passionate. There's still some chemistry here. Um, a lot of attraction here. And they do not want to give up on you. They don't, they can't give up on you. They can't. I feel like they've tried to move on. I feel like um, they've seen you moving on. Uh, it's very difficult for them. Very difficult for this person. Look at that. We got the king and queen of wands here. To me, that is a strong soul connection. And this person is struggling with letting you go because of that soul connection. The masculine and the feminine of the same suit, Capricorn, to me is um that is you know a soul a soulmate situation there i feel like um this person is is gearing up to come after you um they're they're probably going to have to build up their confidence a little bit to reach out because there is a fear of rejection here 
I feel like Capricorn with this Queen of Wands energy, I feel like this is more you. I feel like you kind of took your power back as the Queen of Wand, wo Wands would. <laughs> That's very hard to say. And you, you stepped into your power. And um, you said enough's enough. And uh, yeah, I think that's what's going on here. And uh, very closed off to this individual. Very closed off. You're wanting to move on from it. Um, this person left you feeling pretty empty. But now they want to fill your cups again. Okay. Yeah, you're very closed off here. Very, very closed off. Um, uh, could be some financial ties between the two of you. That's for some of you, not all of you, but you're very shielded, um, in regards to your heart, your shield is up in regards to this other person. They're having a hard time letting you move on, letting you go Four of Pentacles, That is earth energy. They want a reunion here. They want to fix things. They want to celebrate with you again and be happy again. With this Three of Cups, it's water energy. All right, Capricorn. I am going to be reading the energies of the cards here. If the sign of the person that you're dealing with have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future. If their sign pops up, all the better. Like I said before, keep in mind, time is fluid. You could be dealing with this right now. In the future, it's a future love reading. Um, for cross watchers. Um, the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So assign the roles as you wish. It's a general reading. And if um, you are watching this, make sure you are watching this on my channel. My name is Secret Tarot. And um, make sure, and my channel's name is Secret Tarot. <laughs> um, make sure you're watching it on my channel because there has been a lot of content thieves going around the spiritual community. If you see other people's content on different channels, please let that content creator know. Let me know if you see my work on someone else's channel. Um, they have downloaded my video. They have stolen it. So please email me. The e email's down below in the description box. If you see that for anyone else, please email that person as well. Um, all right. So this person, they do want your forgiveness. They do want to heal the situation. They do want to reunite and celebrate with you again, Capricorn. And I feel like they're gearing up to do that. They do have a fear of rejection because they feel like you are very closed off to them. A lot of water under the bridge here. A lot of empty cups. Um, they left you feeling empty. They know that. Um, but they're here to ask for your forgiveness. Beg for your forgiveness in some cases. They want to to work on things. They're scared though that you, you don't want the same. But they're going to do it anyway. Four of cups, that's water energy. Why? Because that soul connection that they feel with you coming through as the queen and queen king and queen of wands they're having a hard time shaking that and your souls i feel are connected you could be dealing with an aquarius or somebody with strong aquarius in their chart this is fate destiny wish fulfillment so what this person is wishing for is to get back on track with you Okay, and they do feel like the two of you are supposed to be together. They can't shake that feeling. Um, they're going to come in unexpectedly. Um, maybe, you know, some of you have blocked them at every, every turn, but um, they're going to find a way to talk to you. Somehow, some way, they will find a way to talk to you. You're not going to be... Um, expecting this communication so expect the unexpected here capricorn all right with this knight of swords um so yeah you're, and you're not going to be expecting that they want to talk about a reunion you're not going to be expecting that they are going to apologize and want your forgiveness but that's what's on the table here all right 
Yeah, they are ready to put in work now. They are ready to put in effort. Like I said, they want to fill those cups back up for you. And they want to show you through their action, right? This is action. This is work. This is effort. Dedication, loyalty, focus on you. So they want to show you. They just don't want to say it. Uh, they want to show you. Eight of Pentacles, that's Earth Energy. This is for Capricorn for their future love reading. This is for Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn's future love? What's going on? Okay, so yes, your walls are up against them. Um, and they're very much aware that your walls are up against them. That's why they have a huge fear of rejection here. Because you went cold as ice. I don't think you've really um, spoken to this person too much. Right? You're on major defense right now in regards to this person. They know that. Wounded Warrior, we have the Nine of Wands. That's fire energy. Um, so they have this fear of rejection because you've went completely cold on them. King of Swords energy. You could be dealing with an air sign or somebody with strong air in their chart. I feel like this is you. I feel like this is you um, cutting this person off, growing cold towards this energy. And um, I feel like your coldness has, you know... Number one, it's shaken them up. Number two, they're, they have, this is what's causing that huge fear of rejection. Like, you know, there's a, they know there's a very slim chance that they're going to be able to uh, get to you, to um, have you let down those walls. You know, they, they want to get back into your heart space, but that is going to be a huge challenge for them and they are very much aware of that they're here to um, what they want between the two of you is an equal give and take they want that equilibrium that's what they're wishing for they want to put work in now I maybe they weren't putting in that effort before and it left you feeling empty you see those Libra scales right there they want that balance they want you to put in work. They will put in work. They, they want it to be equal now. Um, you probably feel very taken advantage of this person. So they are going to come through in an unexpected way. With an unexpected message. It's going to be practical at first to see how you're doing. Um, and it's going to go from there. If you choose to answer the phone, they're testing the waters here. Um, like I said, this person is scared to talk to you, but they're going to attempt it anyway. Um, so it's going to be like a, hey, how are you? How have you been? How are you holding up during the staycation or whatever? It's going to be, you know, they're, that's how they're going to dip their toe in the water and see how you react if you will react. But the intention with this person um, is getting back on track with you. They, that's what they want. That's what they're wishing for, Capricorn. So forgiveness is on the table um, if you want it. Okay. So that is your reading. That is your future love reading for um, April. And I uh, hope it resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. And um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I will leave all of those links down below in the description box. Please do follow the links. There are a lot of imposter accounts out there right now um, on YouTube, on Instagram, everywhere. So make sure you follow the links that I provide. Um, and if you see anybody uh, stealing other people's content, let that content creator know, okay, by uh, via email or, or comment or something. Um, what else, Capricorn? For those of you that are new, welcome. I do have a weekly schedule and I do have a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule... Um, the live schedule, I usually go live or do a pre-recorded premiere around noon um, Eastern Standard Time, every day but Saturday, 
All that information can be found down below in the description box or in the about section of my channel. Um, what else? Next week, I'll be working on the May 2020 monthly readings, the big ones, so check that out. Capricorn, you have a fantastic day and a beautiful week, and I will talk to you very soon. Take care, and God bless.